Old little man got a brushing yesterday. He also got a bath. And he got his fingernails and toenails cut. She only charged me $7 cutting his toenails. And then she let me use her bathtub for free. But I, I said, no, I got to give you something. So I gave her 10 bucks. I offered her 20 but she said she only wanted 10 But he's pretty now. Little man, what are you doing, baby? Said, I'm a pretty baby now, daddy. Yep. He's pretty now, real pretty. Well, yep, I got a, done, a lot done yesterday. I took a little man in. I had his um toenails and fingernails cut, or whatever you want to call them. Had them trimmed. Also gave him a bath with special uh, soap that the veterinarian gave me for him because he, uh, little man does have dog dandruff, and what it does, it makes you itch. It makes me itch too. So also I um. I did my bed linen yesterday, washing him up, and I also washed his um bed, his bed and his towels, and he has a towel on the front seat he lays in too. So anyway, got a lot done yesterday. I'm not really sure where we're going from here. I was thinking about staying here for one or two more nights, and I was thinking about going down to Poncha Village for a week or so, and um going to Mexico with a friend, but leave the camper at the state park and just you know walk across the border right there at Pancha Villa. I really don't want to take the car or the scamp into Mexico so I think I'll just go across with a friend a couple of days and hang out and see if we can find maybe do a little shopping get a bite to eat but that's the game plan for here so you know y'all come along join me in the journey let's see where we end up what we end up doing. Little man just being little man Always right there being my little man. Yeah. It's the old little man, baby boy. Little man, what are you doing, baby? What are you doing? You getting some good loving? Huh? That tail just a wagon. Yeah. That my little man. Yeah, that's my little man right there. You old stinky boy. Daddy, no, I'm not, Daddy. Daddy. I'm clean. I'm clean now, Daddy. I'm a clean boy now, Daddy. Yes, I am. I figured me and little man take one more trip down here to the beach. Or this is what I call the beach, as you can see behind us. But, um, yeah, we'll be leaving here tomorrow. Going, I think I'm going to go down uh, south again to Ponce Villa. And I'm uh, not really sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to head over to Arizona from here. Go over to empire ranch because i about near done all the parks you can do in new mexico because if i go north i won't have any water or showers or bathrooms or most of them don't even have electric so i think i'll just head south poncha villa i uh, might go into mexico and see what i can find there i won't take the scamp into mexico i'll walk over the border and then uh I guess have, head over to Empire Ranch for a month or so and then hopefully the weather will turn we can come back over here in New Mexico and go up north because I, I wanted to go up north and uh, check out the parks up there and then you know early spring I think I'm going to head to Montana or Wyoming and then I'm going to head over to the east coast go over to Maine and check that out because that's a real pretty state over there too but yeah y'all are welcome coming along in our travels if you like but yeah. So I figured we'd take one more walk on the beach before we take off tomorrow. Finally got him to come to me. Come on, baby. Let's walk down to the water. Come on. Come on, little man. Come on, sweetie. Come on, baby. Let's go down to the water. See what we see. I'm a con daddy. I'm just old pokey. Little fluff ball now he's got in the bath. I will say that. He always noses the ground. Always. When you're on the beach, you gotta watch where you drive, because if you look straight ahead of me, that's all loose sand right there. You'll definitely get stuck in it, but that's why I parked up there, and we just walked down to the beach, me and little man, but beautiful, isn't it? This is one of the prettiest parks I go to right here. Usually, uh, the lake's a lot more water in it than what they have now. They're going through a dry spell here, so... Lake's pretty low right now. I will say that. Uh, he's finally going towards the water. Nah, he coming back to daddy. 
I don't know if he likes walking on the beach or what, but I got his nails clipped, so he shouldn't be having any problems. But, I mean, you can see you'll get stuck if you play around on this sand right here. So he's one, he's just checking everything out. Always sniffy, sniffy, sniffy. You can see right there how deep that sand is where it looks like somebody's done gotten stuck there before. But, yeah, if you get stuck down here, you're on your own. Hope you got a shovel with you because that's what it's going to take to dig yourself out. But he's checking everything out now. Like I stated early in the video, this is one of the prettiest parks we go to every year. I think this time I've been here like six weeks this year, but it's really pretty. You can't beat that scenery. People come down here and camp on this beach. I don't know how they don't get stuck, but they do. I mean, they go right down there to the water edge. I don't know how they do it, but they do. He definitely gets it back to the car. Oh, sniffy. <laughs> He's cute as the button. He really is. That's my little buddy right there, my little love bucket. I just wanted to get a better view of the whole lake. I'm over here to like at the entrance to the dam, but they got the road all blocked off. I wanted to go check the dam out, but I guess I'm not gonna be able to, but pretty nice, isn't it? I'm kind of like just riding around searching for a boondocking spot so next time I come back here, but check this one out right here. I mean, it's kind of like on a peak. You could just back your trailer up in here and I mean that's a beautiful view right there. I mean that's all I can say. I mean New Mexico State Parks almost every one I've been to have boondocking spots in them and if you don't need electric and you don't need hookups you can boondock as long as you have the state pass for free so that's a pretty good deal right there and I mean you're not gonna find no other state park that's for sure the only park I know that has this kind of discount as New Mexico State Park so might as well take full advantage of it but look at that view right there you got your fire pit right there somebody left boy but and you just pack your trailer up right here and that'd be pretty nice wouldn't go want to go too far down there but if you just back the trail up right here where I got the Subaru parked I mean you're all by your lonesome down here and the, the road's pretty well packed I mean it's gray sand it's not loose you know pearly white sand so you're not gonna get stuck and one hell of a view I will say that the things you find if you go searching for them